Yo guys, what's going on and welcome back to another video. Today we're doing something a little bit different. So Sophie and I are celebrating our first Valentine's together. But uh, so last year I was actually in Bali, so we never actually got to, sorry, Thailand. So we, so we never actually got to spend our first Valentine's together and today we're going to be trying out uh, a well-known Chinese restaurant that's uh, had 400 over chains over America, Japan and Malaysia. Um, this place is known as Panda Hot Pot. Now it's just been built quite recently. Uh, from what I do know the place sold for 10.3 million dollars and it's in Carlton and they had a six million dollar renovation budget with a and they decided with all that money they're gonna put a one and a half ton statue of a dragon in the middle of the floor so we're about to actually head in we reserved it for 7 p.m. and it's nearly 7 p.m. now so we're gonna go in and check it out so guys enjoy the journey going to be uh, picking what we eat because she's already uh, slightly dissected the menu. What do you recommend, babe? Um, so I don't eat spicy, so do you want spicy or not? <laughs> we can do half-half, that would be the best. Okay, yeah. So maybe, would you want mild or hot? Mild, please, babe. Yeah, okay. Oh, there's a crazy. I don't think I'm crazy enough for crazy. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, for first timers coming here, what they recommend is you have to pick out your soup base first. So, picking out your soup base first, you can choose either just spicy, or you can do half half, or just the mild soups. So, today we are going to pick mild and. Um, Maybe from mild we'll also do the pork pot. Yeah. Um, what she did say also was... Are you recording sir? Okay. What she did say also was that the mild might be actually really spicy as well because it's for people who are used to the um, mala spice. So with the mala spice, that's like a numbing spice. So I'm not sure how we'll do, but let's see how it is. How well, it I, is. I did mala spice last time. No, but this is like traditional Chinese. So who knows if um, we're gonna end up with some ring of fire, uh, ring of fire tonight. <laughs> yeah. A few moments later. So guys, we just got the seafood platter. This looks amazing. They also had some uh, dry ice, so it really made the experience look really fresh. Like all the ingredients were top notch. Oh, what is this? Second nature combination. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Wow. 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 Oh, it's amazing. Pong and the mild. Sorry. Enjoy. Wow, look at all those chilies. I feel like my mouth is going to be on fire as soon as I bite into this. My goodness. This is crazy. Wow, 
Oh, look at that. That is dripping chili. Oh, All right, this is all yours. Mmm. Oh, that is spicy. Mmm. That is so tender. And I can feel the mala spices already starting to numb my tongue and the flavor accentuate through my mouth. Wow, this is good. Go for it, babe. Dunk it in. See what you think. If you guys don't actually know, this place has also been brewing the uh, broths for approximately more than 12 hours and it, it's meant to really bring out the flavours of the, the pork and the Sichuan sauces as well. This isn't just a out of the packet kind of sauce that you get from Safeway, which uh, they've gone the extra mile to make it really good. And I guess that's what you want when you go to a, a proper Chinese fine dining restaurant. been eating for like two hours now um, I don't think we made too much of a dent in the food that we ordered I feel like we ordered too much but it was delicious but I feel like it was a little bit too much um, this is what we've got left at the moment so it's not as pleasant as uh, as it looked before but how do you feel man really really cool but a lot of food there. Try to smash it. So Sophie uh, purposely wore a stretchy dress um, for the for the fact that we were going to order a lot of food, and she didn't have to uh, unbutton if uh, she ate too much, which is quite funny. Um, unfortunately, I've uh, I've got the circumstance of I've eaten too much, but I'm wearing jeans, so I can't unbutton but as you can tell my shirt is stretching at the seams there you go there's my clear indication of eating too much come on babe come on get it all come on come on I can imagine you starting your own mukbang because people just watch people eat and I'm just watching you watch my camera and watching you eat. Watching my camera, watching you eat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it looks so delicious. How do you do that? My goodness, that was a delicious meal. It's quite good actually. Um, we didn't actually manage to finish everything, which I was quite disappointed about. That because was quite a struggle. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't think it'd be that much. Like mm. the portion wise, it was actually quite generous. So with the selection of meats that we got, that was a lot. Yeah, it, it, it was a lot. And um, I wish they mentioned something about ordering too much because my goodness, I think we wasted probably... We ate all the meat, not the veggies. Yeah, we, yeah. we ate all the meat. We didn't eat the veggies. Um, and it was overflowing with veggies at the end. Yeah. Yeah, so that was, that was pretty good. I reckon you guys should try it. It's uh, yeah. pretty good stuff. Environment-wise, that was like a good solid like 10 out of 10. They do do like performances and everything, so you're entertained throughout the uh, dining experience. It was a little bit of a weird performance though. Yeah, it was just like 
I didn't know how to feel like I thought they were gonna do something like super blase and make it like really cool yeah. but it just turned out to be some average lady walking around flicking a fan like poof, poof. I mean yeah. it was cool but like maybe that's they have different experiences because they did have an instrument at the back so maybe yeah. during the nine o'clock session they would have someone playing music and then we we started at seven o'clock they did maybe like that fan thing that we mm. had and maybe earlier they'd have something mm. as well well they, they made it a big hype the ladies like oh pull your camera out have a look at this and i was just like okay all right and then as she walked around i was expecting something bigger but it was just you know it's good though i mean it doesn't detract away from your food while you're trying to eat and you know overall it was a solid experience yeah. i mean Sichuan spices, they're, they're going to really affect me in the uh, <laughs> terms of bowels tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's for sure. Anyways, guys, if you liked that video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Put a thumbs up too. And um, I'll see you in the next vid. Peace out, fam.